welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to make three mini bags from the scratch okay, the first bag is this satin mini bag and I got inspired from Zara's satiny mini bag and the process was quite easy to make this bag all you need is a satin fabric or any kind of fabric will do and for the handle I used wire old wire a thick one and for the base to make it solid i use some old handbag of my mom's so this is how i have cut the panels into five sections and now i'm folding the fabric around the leather to give a solid base to my bag and you'll have to clip the vest so that it won't move while stitching now I'm pleating the body panel and will stitch the body and the base panel together. So I'm using the same stitching technique which I used for making scrunchie. And if you haven't watched the video then please go and watch it. I'm going to link it down below. So uh, this technique uh, makes the stitching look seamless. So you will not see any stitching mark after I stitch it. And now you have to pull the thread from bottom to the top carefully don't rush it because thread might break so this is how it looks you can't see any stitching mark right and you'll have to repeat the same thing to the other body panel and then connect them together from the side and stitch it so this is how it looks now now you'll have to fold the top of the bag and you'll have to stitch it you can stitch it in any style you want and don't worry about the stitching mark because after making the handle the stitching mark will not be visible so I folded this fabric to make handle and I've stitched it and now I'm going to gather all the fabric around this wire just like a scrunchie so if you haven't watched my video then place to watch it's quite easy so I have now gathered fabric around the uh, wire and now I'm going to do the same thing what I did with the handle so I'm going to gather those uh, fabric around the wire so this is how I am doing it So you can see that there is some unstitched part at the end uh, so I'm just folding it in it inside and I'm going to sew this two fabric so that it will get attached to each other and um, before stitching it first I'm going to tie the wire so that it, it will stay around and this is how it looks and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side and this is the final product and my second bag is this mini straw bag and I think this is very cute this is the cutest of all and to make this uh, you only need this kind of corn husk or any kind of straw will do actually and since it was a season of corn I made this with a corn husk and also you need some pearls any kind of pearls will do any kind of size this kind of pearls will also do and any kind of beads will do actually to make the handle yep. so for this first you need to braid the corn so I have divided into three sections and I'm just braiding it And you'll have to connect husk to make it longer 
and this is how you do it you'll have to be very gentle while connecting another husk because it will come out the first step is that you'll have to make a spiral and stitch it and have to do the same thing again and again and this is how it looks this is for the base and now you'll have to do is uh, take the breads to the upper side and do the same thing and remember that you'll have to stitch it very tightly to make the back look fine and if you want your back to be large then you'll have to plaid it more so now I am ending it remember to secure the last part tightly and for the final touch now I'm going to uh, put the handle so first I'm going to tie the rope around the basket and I'm going to make a tight knot this is how it looks this is the final look okay so the third bag is this oh my god so this looks like this and you can also wear it in the other way if you don't like the pearl and this is quite stylish and fancy so yep so, so i have cut the panels five panels and now for the base to make it solid i'm again cutting the back this is an old bag so now i am sizing it this is the side panel and now I'm stitching the base panel with the leather and this is how it looks so now I'm going to connect the body panel with the base panel and I'm going to stitch it so now I'm stitching it so this is how it looks and you'll have to do the same thing with the other body panels and the side panel so this is the side panel and I'm also going to stitch it and I'm going to connect all the panels together and so this is how it will look from the inside and from outside it will look like this So this is optional you can add the ball if you want and at the last you have to put the chain golden chain in the side panels and this is how it looks <laughs>